everyone and welcome to Whiskey Wednesday. This week we've got something very special, something that I never thought we'd be able to do, and it's the 1969 vintage Bal Blair. This bottle belongs to a very, well he was a good friend now, he's a very good friend of mine. Uh, he's lent this to us purely for this, um, and yeah, we're just going to talk you through it. So this is 999 bottles produced, and they're all from refilled hogshead barrels. No idea how many, but slightly wider barrel, and the older a whiskey gets, the less oak influence you want on it. So, you know, first 12 years first fill, after that second fill, after that third fill, just reducing oak interaction and giving a more kind of rounded flavor to the whiskey. It's all natural color. There is no uh, chill filtration, just a natural kind of paper filtration. And it's a natural cash strength of 41.4%, so it's pretty low. I've been smelling this for about 20 minutes and there's a lot to talk about. So we'll, we'll dive straight in and tell you what's going on. So I believe all the hogsheads were ex-bourbon uh, and ex-American oak. And that is exemplified on the nose quite a lot. So instantly there's red and green apple. We don't have any bias on Whiskey Wednesday, we like both. You've got the skin, you've got the core, you've got that kind of that crunchy, juicy interior to the apple. There's a really unusual pine note kicking around in the back of it, kind of spruce, you know, that kind of Christmas tree element. And then your typical Balblair styles of like lemon, limes, a little bit of white chocolate. We'll give it another go, see what else is in there. With those East Coastal Highland whiskies, Old Pontney, this guy, uh, Klein Leash especially, you do get that kind of waxy note, but it's normally waxy kind of fruit skins like lemons or limes. With this, it's more of like a candle wax. You can kind of smell like the heaviness with it and the thickness to it. It's like being outdoors at winter or summer. You know, you've got these really big influential fruit flavors coming through and then that kind of Christmassy spruce and pine note in there. It also kind of smells a little bit smoky. I'm just going to put that down to barrel char more than anything else. Um, but that's enough about nose. Let's taste it because I've been smelling it for 20 minutes, but I've still not tried it yet. So let's see what's going on. We've talked about big oily whiskies on the show before. Most kind of recently, Glen Scotia, Lot Longmond. And I've used this before as well, but it is just like drinking olive oil. It's so globular and it's so thick and it doesn't separate anyway. It doesn't go to one side of the mouth. It doesn't lean toward to the right or the middle of your palate. It's just focused everywhere. Really silky, but really together. Really kind of combines very nicely. The finish is what you'd expect for a 43 year old product. It's very gentle, it's very delicate. There's almost like an instant wisp of oak. I mean, it's gone. You get this slight drying at the start. After that is followed by that lovely kind of gentle hit of caramel and vanilla. And then the oak comes back. It almost gets semi down your throat and then comes all the way back up and expands within your palate. I can guarantee the finish will probably last for as long as this is going on right now. Um, I'm not gonna drink all of this because I need to save some for the guys behind the camera because it's not every day we can drink a 43 year old whiskey on the show. Uh, thank you very much uh, to my dear friend, you know who you are, who lent us this. It's really difficult to score this because I can't afford it. It's like a 1300 pound bottle of whiskey, um, which in the grand scheme of 40 plus year olds is pretty cheap. You know, Glen Fiddix is nearly like 3000, Balvenies is like, I think 3000 as well. Let's not talk about McCallum because that's like four grand now. Um, that's just for the 30 as well. But a very gentle, balanced overall flavor, very deep, very complex, and a finish which is still with me now. Um, I think the only respectful score to give it is a nine because it is very beautiful and it is very elegant and it has everything you could ever want from it. And there's something about old whiskey which makes you want to respect it. 
Um, so yeah, we're going to give it a nice rounded nine. Um, we'll enjoy the last bit of this because it's the last time we'll probably ever get to try it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed your time in London at the Whiskey Show. Uh, I think this was there if you did have the opportunity to try it. But thank you all for watching. This is the Whiskey Wednesday. This is the Barbell 69 and I've been Phil. We'll see you all next week. Thank you.